we go. Fallout. Uh, this is going to be awesome. 1997. It's crazy to think if that's when this game came out. Actually, seems like it's older than that. Uh, however, any way you look at it, that's a long time ago. Now, I figured I was I was almost considering doing like a Fallout 3, Fallout New Vegas uh, Let's Play. And then I'm like, why? When I can start at the classic Fallout. Plus, we need to throw a little bit more into the uh, Monte Rico Classic Gaming, so... Let's check out the intro. If you haven't played any of these Fallout games, you're in for a ride. Wonderful classic RPG, and I think it's going to be a good ground base for some of the other games that I want to play and do some Let's Plays on, so here we go. Brian Fargo presents. gather slaves and wealth. Spain built an empire from its lust for gold and territory. Hitler shaped a battered Germany into an economic superpower. But war never changes. In the 21st century, war was still waged over the resources that could be acquired. Only this time, the spoils of war were also its weapons. Petroleum and uranium. For these resources, China would invade Alaska, the U.S. would annex Canada, and the European Commonwealth would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation-states bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. In 2077, the storm of World War had come again. In two brief hours, most of the planet was reduced to cinders. And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. A few were able to reach the relative safety of the large underground vaults. Your family was part of that group that entered Vault 13. Imprisoned safely behind the large vault door under a mountain of stone, babies in the mountains. a generation has lived without knowledge of the outside world. V13? Life in the vault is about to change. Let's do this. All right, this is going to be awesome. So excited. I haven't played this game for 15 years, but it's going to be fun. I got the little pack somehow, but it's on Steam right now. And I got Fallout, Fallout 2. I want to do some Fallout Tactics. That one's really fun as well. And uh, go from there. So let's do a new game and start creating our characters. Now, you do get started out with a Max Stone, Natalia, or Albert. Uh, you can start with these three guys. They're already kind of pre-made, or you can create a character completely. Uh, that's kind of what I like to do. Or you can take one of these and modify them out. So let's take Natalia and let's modify her a bit. Let's at least just, let's just do that. She's only 17, got her hit points. So you get, uh, you get to pick your skills. She's a stealer, a sneaker. We don't need that. Unarmed. Eh. Let's go. Let's see what are big guns. <clears throat> big guns are miniguns, rocket launchers, flamethrowers. Let's just do small guns. And first aid. Love me some first aid. 
Uh, agility's way up. I like that. Uh, intelligence, luck. Let's drop luck. Uh, Fallout luck's kind of fun to have. Uh, endurance, though. I want some more strength. Charisma. Okay. Charisma is always nice to have, and since she is... Uh, let's see. Alright. Alright, let's do that. Let's take your strength down and give you some more um, charisma. And let's see, your agility is heroic. Let's take the luck. No. We're going to find some other things that will give us some bonuses along the way. Uh, and then also, she's a knight person and gifted. Hmm. Your primary statistics are each plus one. Oh, that's why these were all so high. But you lose 10% on all skills to start. And you receive five less. But these, look, so you'll see the big difference. Boom, boom. I'm going to go ahead and do gifted. Night person. I don't know. I like to play during the day a lot, too. So that's not going to work out well. It's a nice one. But we'll do bloody mess. Because it's just a fun one. It's kind of a throwaway, uh, a throwaway perk. I thought I would have more choices here. No? You already have the maximum of two traits. Oh, okay. There we go. They're white. It's hard to tell because if you click on them, it's almost white. So we got Bloody Mess, which just makes things go uh, crazy when you kill people. <laughs> and we have all that stuff turned off, so that should be fun. Uh, so there's our main character. Let's ah, see what we got to do. Here. Good. We've got pick, a him, problem. pick his nose with my Big mouse. One. The controller chip for our water purification system has given up the ghost. Can't make another one, and the process is too complicated for a workaround system. Simply put, we're running out of drinking water. Always about the geck. No water, no vault. This is crucial to our survival. And frankly, I, I think you're the only hope we have. Did you just roll your you eyes need at to me? Go find us another controller chip. All right, all right. We estimate we have four to five months before the vault runs out okay. of water. We need that chip. That's the real struggle. This you marked your map with the location of another vault. Not a bad place to start, I think. Look, just be safe. Okay? Because running around the map does end up taking a lot of time. All right. It's party time, Vault 13. Go have some fun out, out and about. Nothing bad could happen. Right? Everyone's dead outside. Just us in the vault. Get a nice little walk. Get some fresh air. Couldn't be any mutants or anything. No. High tech 1997 graphics. Actually, for the time, this still was pretty cool. Now, I didn't fit to screen because it really would be pixelated, so I wanted to keep some definition and uh, minimize it, so don't worry. Also, I'm making the game in 720, not 1080, because it does have a 1080 option, except you're so zoomed out that you can't really see anything. Even though it is nice and crisp, you just can't see much. So. It's a whole little right click around. Let's click on this dead guy. So apparently someone tried to leave, and the nice thing is, is I already, they gave me a gun, a knife, some little stim packs, one of these little flares, uh, little toolkits. So we're gonna take everything. We're gonna take these bullets, we're gonna take this knife. We got double knives. All right, so this is how this goes. Inventory, I'm gonna throw my gun there. I'm gonna throw my knife here. Uh, you can see your damage here. Our nice little stats are still popping up. Don't have any armor yet. Good thing we got this uh, first aid kit. Uh, lock picks. Uh, let's see. See, so you can uh, hold down. Let's see. If I right click and then hold down left, I can use it, I can drop it, or I can look at it. So it's a small kit containing basic medical equipment bandages, wraps, antiseptic spray, and more. And a bottle of tequila. Cause you just have to. So basically this whole thing now is, let me see if I can pull up a map. No? Tab? Yeah, tab is the map. 
Uh, it's a big cave, and we got to go rat hunting. I don't have a motion sensor installed yet. You can also do high definition, low definition camera. Uh, but let's go ahead and hunt a few rats, and then I'll skip ahead until we get out of the cave and bring you back when something interesting happens. Because as you can see, we got a lot of cleanup to do. Now, you don't have to do this. You can just kill these rats and get right out and get to your business. However, rats are XP, so we're going to go killing. Splat. That's that bloody mess. <laughs> so let's just keep on at it. Kill a few rats along the way, and uh, I'll see you when I clear out the cave. Peace on out. Cool, all right, so I fixed out some bugs. We won't have that mouse cursor in the middle of the screen anymore, so I apologize for that. Uh, I finished off the cave, check this out. If I hit the C button for my character, and look, it kills, there were 20 rats in this cave, which equaled out to 500 experience. So look at how perfect that worked out. So I gained half a level just by cleaning out this entire cave, but it's time to head on out. But before we do, I want to call it an episode because you guys know I like to keep these between about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, so I know you guys like to watch these on your tablets, on your mobile devices and all that stuff. So uh, I like these short little episodes. I think this was cool. we got to create our character. we got to get started. This is going to be a great classic to play. Fallout. Come on, guys. we got 150 days to get the little water controller, probably the Gek as it's known. And uh, we'll go from there. So see you guys later. Thanks for watching.